Hi, in today's video I'm gonna show you um, some a few basic steps for working with layouts. The idea behind layouts is this. You have your master layouts, which can be the different formats that you're gonna use in the project. Maybe A4, A3, A2, A1, A0. Uh, I'm in Europe, so I work with those formats. These are the masters. Once you create a master, you can create your actual layouts that you're going to use in your project. So this is my master layout 1. I'm going to name it A4 because it's an A4 format. You can change the format of your master layout by going to settings and over here. The size, the margins, uh, the orientation portrait on or landscape and things like that. So once you have uh, master you can start editing it, editing and the ba basic idea is that whatever is going to be on your master is uh, is going to appear on the layouts associated with it so if I click on this my first layout you can see it has as a master the A4 master and everything that's on the A4 master appears here in red so I can't really edit it I can select it if I want to edit these things I'm gonna go in the master layout Okay, once we know that, we're gonna fill in the information of our project in the master layout. This is a typical uh, set of informations that we usually put in our projects. So, the easiest way to go about this is to fill in the information of your project in the project information in ARCHICAD. So you're gonna go here in your navigator, click right, and click on project info and here you are gonna say project name maybe I don't know house and it's gonna be your project name uh, for project number maybe it's your for first project in 2016 uh, project st status I don't know I'm gonna just say ABC uh, depending on what country you are, the abbreviations for this is different, so I'm just gonna go ABC. Um, let's say for a project custom, because I don't see anywhere here the date. I'm just gonna say date. Ah, this isn't the number. I wanted this to be the... Uh, this is the number, and here for the date I'm gonna say maybe I'm doing it also in the 1st of 2016. And let's just change the number, maybe it's your third project in 2016. So the project is, the number is 3, the date is uh, January of 2016. For site details, I'm just going to use the full address. Maybe it's going to go street. just say OK. So for the contact details, maybe this will be the firm name. So let's say 456, our channel name. Uh, maybe what else are we going to do? Full name. Let's say the client full name. This client is Bill Marie. Mm, I don't care about it much else. Uh, what are, else are we going to say? For now, maybe this is enough. So, okay, this is what we have. As you can see here, the project name has changed. So, what I'm going to do next is fill in the information here. So, when I click on client uh, on this text box, I'm going to select the text tool, I'm going to click here, once I'm here I'm going to add a space and then I'm going to click on insert auto text. So I'm going to go here and this is the client, right? So I'm going to go client details, client full name, ok. Then uh, maybe this I want it to be bigger, so let's say 3. And, oh. Eight millimeters. 
so for project title I'm going to do the same space auto text and then project details project name ok and then I'm going to say site address and I'm going to go on auto text select here site details site full address ok so we have this uh, for the face once again I'm going to drag a copy of this text select it all delete it and I'm going to go to auto text and we have the project details project status ok this is where I'm going to have so maybe uh, once you've passed uh, one phase of auto authorization you can move on to the next all you gotta do is go here to the project information and change it and it's going to automatically change here as well Over here, maybe you can. You want to put the, the name of the layout that you're gonna have. So we're gonna do the auto text, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna go here to layout sec category, and I'm gonna put the layout name to be inserted here. And I'm gonna show you what happens next with this. For scale, I'm gonna go auto text again. I'm gonna go to drawing drawing scale I'm going to say insert so now if we go to our first layout we can see that the layout name is here the same as what's here so let's say uh, site plan Oops. site plan it's going to be the name of this layout and as you can see it automatically changed it for scale it doesn't have anything because we still didn't put a drawing here to sh tell the layout what scale the drawing is in also over here you can see all the information changed as it is in the master So this is what we have now. This is all added automatically based on uh, the information that you have in your project information uh, tab. So you might think, well, wouldn't have been, wouldn't have it been easier if we just typed it in directly here. The thing is that one, if you have one layout, that's fine. But then if you have many layouts, let's say you're gonna create an A3 layout. A3 so you just created a new layout let's say some information of your project changes like the name the client you want to use the same project uh, and you use the same archicad file but you want to change this if you have 10 masters you don't want to go in each one and change it individually you can just go here in the project info, change it there and over here it's all going to change automatically maybe a new architect joins the team, you don't want to do that on changing every single master layout, you can just change it in the project information and then it's going to change automatically over uh, in the layouts as well uh, here as you can see we have the drawing already automatically 01 if I want to just say 01 archi A for architect drawings architectural drawings I can do that it, and it just changes out automatically for the second layout maybe I want to put 02.A and then this is going to be first floor pl plan everything is going to change automatically 
so this is really way easier to just do and the changes are that automatically change first in the masters and then uh, according to the masters it will change in the layouts as well the numbering on everything is automatic also the name on each layout is automatic so you don't have to keep typing it everywhere here here so on the uh, navigator or on the layout you don't have to keep typing everything over and over again so to demonstrate the scale thing I'm gonna go in my floor plan I'm gonna draw something whatever and I'm just gonna say save here and place on layout and this is way too huge I'm gonna just say um, 1000 so we have the drawing here as you can see the scale is automatically inputted if I delete it it disappears here as well if I, uh, I undo the deletion so I have the scale here once again appearing if you have multiple drawings so let's say one is 1000 one, one is 1500 and you want the, to put them both on the layout you'll have them both appear there and there too if something like this happens you'll just have to go in the master and just move it maybe a little bit higher up and then when you're here it appears correctly okay so I hope this helps it really sped up the process of doing layouts for me and hopefully this helps you too bye